What's your fourth quarter virtue going to be? Might it be humility? Let me suggest that one. It's a good one. Here's my favorite definition of humility. I can't remember who said it. Humility is agreeing with God about who you are. Humility is about agreeing with God regarding who you are. Now that's really cool because there's an old Jewish tradition that, 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 that says that humility is not taking up too much space. You take up the right amount of space, you go into a room, you don't just clear everybody else out, or you sit on a park bench, you don't sit in the middle and sprawl and push everybody else off, you, you find the right amount of space. It's not having too much, I mean, it's not having too much space, and it's also not having too little space where you sit down at the end and you hope nobody will notice and you're kind of shriveled. It's not a big self-esteem or a small self-esteem, it's a just right, it's a Goldilocks self-esteem. It's about agreeing with God about who you are. In other words, you will live confidently. You won't be unconfident. You won't be weak and snivelly and apologetic. To be humble is to be confident because you know who you are and you know who God thinks you are, and those two agree. You don't think too much or too little about yourself. So what would happen if really finding the humility balance in your life and allowing humility to grow from deep within you became the governing virtue, the focus of your fourth quarter? Something wonderful would really happen.